some big changes for high school students in Sarasota and Manatee counties. Some will have to rethink how to earn college credit through dual enrollment courses. ABC 7's Erica Jackson joins us with more Erica. Students can still take dual enrollment courses at the State College of Florida's three campuses and online, but they won't have the convenience of taking those classes at their high school. Like dual enrollment courses gave her like really great opportunities to get ahead. High school senior Lily Sutton will graduate from college two years early and she credits dual enrollment courses for the jump. She used to take classes at Lakewood Ranch High School in exchange for credit at the State College of Florida. But now she takes all of her classes at SCF. You don't have to go to college. So people are here by choice, not necessarily because they're being forced to. But starting next fall, dual enrollment students will have to take all of their courses online or at an SCF campus, which will be hard for students who don't have reliable access to a computer or car. I know a lot of people can't drive in high school and if they want to take it freshman or sophomore year, they don't have access sometimes to SCF campus. Savannah James is a dual enrollment student and the plan was for her sister to follow in her footsteps when she enters her freshman year. But now her family isn't sure what's next. She's going to be a freshman. She can't drive and there's no bus. There's no way to get her there. What we're hoping is that they can still use time uh, allocated to them, may there be a study hall or whatnot, to take our online classes perhaps at those high schools. As one door closes, another door opens. Jamie Smith with the State College of Florida says the change will be good for students because they will have access to take more classes on campus taught by professors instead of the limited offerings at local high schools taught by certified instructors. We wanted to improve those and the best way to do that was to bring the program back to being administrated on State College of Florida campuses. Smith says the District Board of Trustees approved the change last month because of academic inconsistencies throughout the program in Sarasota and Manatee counties. If there were issues regarding, uh, let's just say, how, how students were being graded, uh, if they had recognized any disparities in that, the appropriate approach would have been to bring it to the school district's attention. They certify our teachers, they make sure our teachers are qualified to teach them, so uh, I don't think teacher quality is, is an issue. Leaders with both local school districts say they try to provide as many options as possible for students. Sarasota County students can take online classes through the University of Florida and University of South Florida. Because um, their decision to eliminate dual enrollment on our high school campuses. We have to find solutions for those kids. The school district of Manatee County is working on an agreement with USF so students can earn credit on all high school campuses. We'll be pursuing a broader relationship with the University of South Florida to offer dual enrollment in all of our high schools. Savannah took SCF classes at Pineview School and at the college campus and think students will have more opportunities in the larger setting. You may have to get out of your comfort zone, but I definitely recommend taking classes, at least in the future, for other students. They're going to have access to more classes, to more resources. The, the number of things that we offer on our campuses, the students are going to get that college level experience. Students may have to overcome some challenges, but in the end, Lily believes this is a positive change for students. I think that it's probably a good thing. We asked SCF if this decision was at all financial based. They tell us it was all about inconsistencies, blaming faculty oversight and the courses not meeting SCF standards. Reporting in the newsroom, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.